Previously on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. What would you like? A cow? A horse? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a cow would be nice. Okay, here you go. Oh, hey, what's up? Wow. Were you waiting outside the courthouse this whole time, Mr. Cow? Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't get treated very well either. Apollo, give me that cow! Okay, well, apparently you're his cow now, so... I know, I love you too, Cal, but he's he's the boss. I can't do anything, all right? I'll never forget you, Cal! Come on, Cal, we're going to Burger King. And now, back to channeling people. Don't you dare touch my mommy! Ah, oh, God. It really hates me again. Uh, my husband, Dirk, is the killer, but he's fled from the sacred hall. I, I feel like it's going to relate to... I'm pointing out that uh, you still love him, though, right? Must be the reason why he had to make his escape today. The reason? Ah, uh, perhaps. Perhaps what? Perhaps to conceal himself and lie and wait for another chance to claim my life. What's this? Objection! Objection! No! Come on! No! 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 It's only not that like that. Your mercifulness. First of all, you don't really believe he's trying to kill you, do you? After all, you two ran off together after he rescued you all those years ago. That was only because he had the audacity to claim it wasn't me. He must believe me. It was my duty as a wife to her husband. To bend an ear to him, was it not? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Now I think I know why I, why I got my, my love for Disney princesses in the Frozen movie from. Communication after disagreement is a secret to a long and happy marriage. Sure, I guess. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Don't ask me, dude! I'm a bachelor forever. That's why I listened to Derek. However, he didn't have a shred of evidence to support his claim. It grieves me to admit it, but my husband truly did try to murder me. Okay, may the Holy Mother rain judgment upon the traitor Dirk Samadhi for his crimes. The Holy Mother's going to judge him. Within the doctrines of Koreanism, we are taught that, upon death, the Holy Mother shall judge our souls. To those of pure spirit, her holiness shall be as warm and merciful as the sun. But to those of depravity, her wrath shall echo that of an angry mother to her child. With a fucking axe! An angry mother. I wasn't expecting the father's judgment to be so down to earth. The scriptures of Koranism were then the, the first in the world to be written such that they would be accessible to the worshippers of all ages. Wow, that's... Child friendly, how about that? Unexpectedly progressive. <laughs> she's going to keep on claiming Dirk's the killer until she's blue in the face. Let's find a hole in her testimony if you want to turn this thing around. We need a ghost of a chance. It's now. Okay, I was not anywhere near the tomb following the murder. Well, maybe. You were hiding inside the sarcophagus. Okay. After all, it does technically belong to you. They'd have no trouble opening it. If I had been in there, I could not be in, be here today. For the tomb has been under constant surveillance since the murder. Oh. I would never have been able to leave. Hmm. I guess not. Um, if I might ask, what's in that sarcophagus anyway? You're still alive, so... There is despair, sadness, hatred and malice. Only one brave enough to see the truth hidden deep within. Uh, maybe something a little less cryptic than that? Could discover the final hope. My continued corporeality. You completely lost me. In other words, it's empty. <laughs> but no one dared to open it because they were too scared of the curse. Watch out, plus these. Now, we dispense with your theory. It is as empty as my sarcophagus. Hmm, okay. Were theory correct, I would have been in the tomb once I had stopped chanting. I'll admit you weren't in the tomb after the murder. Very good. But that's very true. Very truth for Foots, your theory. Even if I had been channeled Mr. Inga and entered the tomb. Yes, I get it. I know. No, when I ceased channeling him, I would have reemerged at the crime scene. Precisely. As you said yourself, Defense, Queen of Mare was not there after the murder. 
the only living souls in the tomb at that time were Dirk Samadhi and Maya Fey. Ah! Be it in this life or the next. There is no escape, escaping such simple truths. That's quite enough. Okay, this is just one of those press until you're done. <laughs> it's abundantly clear that Queen Amara's testimony is flawless. Oh, do you understand now, lawyer? Ah, uh, dumb animals. This is bad. I wish I had woodland critters to be best buddies with, then I would look good too. The judge isn't going to let me cross examine her much longer. Amara should have been in that tomb after the minister's murder. But she wasn't. I don't get it. How did she just vanish from the scene of the crime like that? It shouldn't be possible for normal people to... For... Normal people? No, you're not normal! Ah! Maybe. Maybe what? She's gonna teleport! Your Majesty. I think I can explain why Queen Amara wasn't in there in the tomb after the murder. Very well, Defense. Do explain. I believe it was accomplished through a method only she is capable of. By using a special method, it would be possible for her to literally disappear. Well, don't keep us waiting. Let's hear it. How did Queen Amara disappear from... Di How did Queen Amara disappear from... How did Queen Amara disappear from tomb? I think they forgot a the in there. How did Queen Amara disappear from... From the tomb? That sounds a bit like God just said. How did Queen Amara disappear from tomb? Is she in the sarcophagus? We already proved she can't do that. She, she clung to the ceiling! <laughs> oh my god, that'd be fucking... Oh, I'm tempted to say that. Like fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> you know what I am? I'm just gonna say it real quick. I know it's not right, but I just... I gotta, I gotta say that. She's clung to the ceiling like a fucking spider! Queen Amara must have clung to the ceiling. Yes, she was hanging off of it. Ugh. Like one of them dads that strike geckos! <laughs> 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 oh, come on. Mm, oh, I thought I was back in the gallery. What am I do back, doing back up here? What was something I said? Nice try, Apollo, but you might want to try a different joke with this crowd. I was trying to be funny, Mr. Wright. Oh, Squeed is not Spider-Man. How dare you compare a merciless to a mere gecko? Die! Sorry! Now oh, then, no less than... <laughs> Damn it! I was really hoping we'd make a Spider-Man reference or something, because come on! Crawling around like a gecko! <laughs> That'd be funny if that was the actual right answer. She was, she was on the ceiling. No, nobody decided to look up when they went in there that day. <laughs> My god! I am a woman of many talents. <laughs> uh, okay, she channeled someone. All she'd do was channel someone. And she could easily disappear from the scene of the crime. After all, she would literally, she would literally be someone else. Why? I believe that actually makes sense. What do you have to say to that, Queen Amara? You believe that I, a Grand Priestess, would use the sick of power of spear channeling to commit murder? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah! What? What the? Oh my god, you have an evil side of you too, don't you? Oh! Maybe both of them are- <laughs> Mercy or mer mercifulness! Oh my god, maybe both this- Most of these ladies are crazy then. I don't know what to think anymore, fuck. I'm so confused, guys. I'm so confused! How dare you spew such vile blasphemy defense! You will retract your last statement, or face immediate execution! Fuck you, your honor! I mean, your magistrate. Oh boy, I knew it. She's gonna, she's gonna snap at some point. No, good Magistrate. It is quite all right. Quran is also teaches that we must respond at all times with reason principle. Therefore, I shall offer a measured response to his blasphemous accusation. I mean, she seems to think quite highly of herself, doesn't she? You have something to counter with. Indeed. Now, are you listening? It would not have been possible to simply vanish by means of spirit channeling. After all. It will require a deceased person to channel. However, there was only one murder victim in the tomb. And that was Minister Inga. The only others there were right after the murder. Were Dirk and Miss Faye. Ah. Had I channeled Inga as he will ledge. 
Well, the outcome would have been quite odd to say the least. For there, beside the dead mister, a living, breathing one would have appeared. Even if I had been in the tomb, there was no one to channel except the deceased minister. So you see, I could not have vanished by means of spirit channeling. Yeah, it's true, but maybe she became somebody else and walked out and nobody batted an eye? But then who would that be, I guess, right? Can't rule it out yet. Because, well... What if there was another victim? Someone we haven't identified yet. Oh. How absurd. You channel someone other than Mr. Inga. You could have used their identity to disappear from the tomb. Another victim? Queen Amara. Ugh. Please add your last statement to your testimony. This could explain everything. Wasn't there some other sign... Some sign of another victim there in the tomb. And yet... Oh, no! Oh, no! What? Oh, what the fuck? What a mind fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! That is so sad! That is so fucked up, though. Oh, my God. What the shit? What the hell? Dirk is dead. Dirk's already dead. Oh, my God. So she was channeling Dirk the whole time. Oh, my God. So his body, his body is in the sarcophagus right now. That's what the blood was there. Oh my god, what the fuck? So when Dirk, quote-unquote, disappeared, she had just stopped channeling him and returned to being Nana again. What? What the fuck? So did Amara really kill him? Why? What the hell? Is this chick evil too then? I... Fuck! Well, that should be the good one. Oh my god, that is a real fucking twist though. What the shit? Why do I... Oh god, that is... Oh, this is me so sad. No. And yet, why do I say I'm not going to like what I I'm about to find out? Oh. Oh. That's what Dirk was talking about. There's going to be a secret you're going to find out. It's going to be hard to swallow. Is that I'm already dead, son? Mr. Inga was the sole victim. There was no other spirit channel in. No, no other spirit to channel until he was dead. Uh, or maybe he just died from his illness or something. I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Maybe the blood stain here. Yeah, oh no. Oh god. Paul's like, fuck. I can't believe I'm presenting this. But it proves that there was another victim. Still, the only ones there at the scene of the crime were. She have an outfit of his? Oh, well, no, she could have just taken his clothes. That's right. No, it can't be. Would well, Lorenz care to share something with us? Although, oh, that's why Dirk blacked out. But, but Dirk must have come to realize at some point, right? That he was actually dead. Right? And But he didn't... That's why he didn't want to betray Amara? I'm guessing the, the illness was to kill him then, right? Fuck, I... There's so much I, I, I want them to explain, though. Like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Defense care to share something with us. Oh my god, that is such a twist, though. Queen Amara, you knew, didn't you? Whatever are you talking about? If you won't tell us this court, then I will. Well, don't keep us waiting. This case includes a second victim. One of the two people found alive in the tomb after the mister's murder. He was actually already dead. He was already dead. But a second victim, Apollo! Queen Amara, if you channel Mr. Inga, move to the tomb. He vanished from the scene of the crime by channeling the other victim. That explains why no one found you after the murder was discovered. 
Oh, you putrid pepper, of all the half-witted buffoonery to come tumbling from your lips. I suppose I indulge you and play along with your little delusion. Tell me, Mr. Justice, who is the other victim? Oh. Oh, God, that sucks. There's no way this could be true. But... No, I can't stop now. This is the truth. It's the only way forward to solving this case. The other victim, the Queen of Mero channeled, was... Daddy Dirk. Listen, son, if you manage to prove me innocent tomorrow... Yeah, I... I don't have long to live. There's no escaping death now that it has its sights set on me. Oh, uh, maybe... Is that what he was referring to? Okay. Dirk knew everything. But he couldn't bring himself to tell me. It was... Okay, I see. He didn't mean he was actually sick. So maybe maybe that wasn't the secret, though, he was talking about. I, I don't know. When he said there was a secret afterwards, I, I, it sounded like it was something different from the fact that he was dying, or quote-unquote was already dead. I, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll... Maybe he'll say it here. I have one more big secret. I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. Uh, okay, no, that was it. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Wow. Couldn't accuse the love of his life. The sad truth is, the other victim, channeled by Mara, was... Take that! Take that! What? You can't... That's not possible! Defend it! Dirk Samadhi is the one Queen Amara channeled. He's the other victim! D th this is insanity. Paul Kunka! Apollo, wh what are you? Do you realize what you're proposing? Objection. Objection? I demand an explanation, Mr. Justice. I don't know when or why Dirk was murdered. Facts and evidence speak for themselves. And this... This is where they've led me! I see. After his murder, Dirk and Mai were the only ones in the tomb. But if one of them was actually dead and being channeled by Mara... But it can't be. Can it? Dirk's blood stain at the scene of the crime was the, the clincher for me. Yeah. He wasn't even injured, so how could he possibly have bled that much? The only logical explanation is Dirk had also been murdered. Th that's enough. Your explanation cannot be the truth. And you would not dare to claim to have proof to support your assertion. No, Yuda. I wish it weren't true. I wish with all my heart that I'm wrong. But as much as I don't want to believe it, yes, I can prove it. Dirk's killer must have hidden his body. It would have to be somewhere nobody would ever look. And there's only one such place. You, you truly have proof? The fastest way would be to actually have someone go check the tomb. Go check the tomb, but why? Where in the tomb is it? Because I believe Dirk's killer hit his body here. Take that! Boom! You, you would suggest. We a sarcophagus. The only place in the tomb that no one would dare to look. Plus, a killer would soon become trapped by hiding in there. But a body, well, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> Which means... Hi. I believe we must search the sarcophagus at once. Your eminence. Being that the Queen of Mary yet lives, I trust we may now open it. I don't care. If, if we must. 
Upon Magistry, I believe Detective Sky is still there at the tomb. Let us contact her at once and have her conduct a full investigation into the matter. Oh my god. Now then, Detective Sky, report, if you please. I'll start with my findings. Please. Please. Please let me be wrong about this. I just want things to be as they were. Aw. Aw. A search of the sarcophagus. Revealed a body that appears to be several days old. The body? D Detective Sky, tell me it wasn't Dirk. Tell me my whole theory was completely off base. I have a photo of the body. A and I have positively identified it as... Oh. Uh... Wait. So wait, she didn't steal his clothes then? Wait, then how'd she dress up like dirt? Did she just have an outfit, like, to the side? I guess maybe she prepared for it or something? If it was really... God, really? Did Amara kill Dirk and Inga? Like, holy fuck, what? Dirk Samadhi. Dirk! Oh! Ow! No! Why? Why did this have to happen? Damn it, Dirk! Answer me! How? How can this be? What the? <laughs> oh my god! The traitorous snake! The very head of the insurgency! Murdered! Oh, what a joyous day! Us fools shouting for change and revolution! We'll finally return to whatever rocks I crawled out from under! <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Gonna kill her, Mr. Wright. Who? <laughs> what was I even fighting for? Apollo. What am I? Supposed to do now? Oh. I. I. Son. A lawyer. Should never look the way you do right now. A dragon never yields. Never. Even when wounded, a dragon bites down hard and never lets go till its dying breath. It glares, it roars, and it latches its jaws firmly onto its prey until the bitter end. That's what lawyers do to get the truth. But, Dirk, what if the truth is that you're... Apollo, court tomorrow. 
You may find yourself faced with a truth that is difficult to accept. But I know you. I know you can handle the truth. No matter what it turns out to be. I know that because I believe in you. You're my son, after all. You... You believed in me that much, Dirk? Dirk, I think I finally understand. I can't yield. Not now. Not ever. Not after Dirk believed in me, despite knowing what was about to happen. Besides, Dirk left me with two things I must do. Are you all right, Apollo? Sorry about that, Mr. Wright. That looked like it really hurt. Are you bleeding? Is your head bleeding? But I'm... I'm fine now! Ah... Uh, Paul... Paulo? Tech to Sky! Oh, hey, my guy called me by my real name. Y yes yes How sure are you that the body's been there for a few days? I'm positive. No autopsy's been performed yet, but I'd say it's been there... been at least three days. Fortunately, the, the low temperature inside the sarcophagus kept it from decaying. Oh, and the chest area bore three gunshot wounds from a small caliber weapon. Oh. I believe they are the cause of death. More than three days have passed. How long is it? Has the Dirk that's been with us this whole time been Amara? Like, I. How long has it been? I don't know. At least three days, huh? That means Dirk was already dead by the time he came to visit me back in the States. Oh, he was! The whole time Amara's been with us! Oh, interesting. Hmm, okay. Wow. So, who- so who killed him, then? It w- okay, so it definitely wasn't Amara that killed him. Amara's been helping Dirk the whole time. But was she the one that killed Inga, then? Did- maybe- was she getting payback for- like, did- did Inga kill Dirk? And who was chattling him? I think it would have to be someone who could get into and stay in the U.S. without arousing suspicion. Yet also had a solid cover story so they wouldn't be seen as missing. I believe this is who was channeling Dirk when I saw him in the States. Uh, uh. I. Wait, is it Maya or is it her? I'm. Take that. Maya. Maya? Oh, I see. Oh. What? She was being held hostage at the time, so it seemed only natural that she wasn't around. Right. Do you remember what she said earlier? I... So please, just tell me. What exactly are you hiding? Sorry, but... I promised Dirk I wouldn't say. You made a promise to Dirk. Uh-huh. Pretty big one. So she was the one. What in the fuck is going on? Dirk didn't want his own death to be known. The other members of the Defiant Dragons would lose all hope if they found out. So, what? Was was Minister Inga on this shit too? I'm so confused. Cause that means Maya wasn't really there, right? And that would snuff out the flames of the revolution for good. Miss Faye, Dirk told you to keep quiet about this, didn't he? I guess no use hiding it anymore. Yes, I promise to not tell. Although, goddamn, I got my my clothes got all wet when he jumped in the water to save you. Don't let it drown me, then, asshole. Just because you're dead doesn't mean you gotta drown me along with you, old man. <laughs> Dirk made me promise before he died. So it's right then. Um, Apollo, there's there's something I need to tell you. Oh. It's about you know Dirk's final moments. Oh. I'm listening, Miss Faye. What happened in his final moments? It was soon after I was kidnapped. Dirk paid me a visit in that tomb where I was being held captive. I'd say it was a few days before Minister Inga Inga's murder.
Uh, hey, young lady. Time to get you up and out of here. Uh, uh, I... I am so confused. What? But... Uh, it's that revolutionary guy! I'm... Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. I hope they explain. I hope I'm just being an idiot, but if... If she was in the States, then she's not kidnapped, right? But you tell me she was kidnapped? And then she got away pretending to be Dirk or something? Like, what? Then what was that phone call about? Why don't we run back to say Maya? I don't even understand it, me, right? I'm not like misinterpreting this, right? I'm here to rescue you. Y you are? Why? I figured things were getting a little too quiet with that stamp sucking scumbag. So I started digging around. That's when I found you'd been abducted. Why would a rebel, rebel help me? Let's go before it's too late. Oh, it already is for you, pal. <laughs> Long time no see, you rebel blowhard. No, I he definitely was not in on this. Inga, I know you're up to something. I'm going to find out what. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck me! Oh, Ginga, you piece of shit. <sighs> oh my god! Ah, shit, you're still alive. <laughs> That's gotta smart. You become a real thorn on my side, see? So it's time for you to be pushing up daisies. Ah! Ah! Dirk! <sighs> oh my god! Fucking epic shit, dude! Come on! Dirk, taking like a m fucking pro! Did you really think that a piece should were like that? <laughs> Could kill a dragon! Oh, what the? Ah. 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 Oh my god, he's going fucking V for Vendetta here! What are you? What are you? Some kind of freak? <laughs> nah, not this! Oh my god, he did the piece of shit! No, go back to him being a piece of shit again! No sympathy for me anymore! No! Not! Dark was shot several times, but he barely even flinched! Oh, seriously, getting like V for Vendetta vibes there. Just stood there, didn't give a shit. Then he pulls out his knives and stabs the fuck out, fuck out, of, uh, out of Inga. Sacrifice himself for me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <laughs> These ropes! Yeah! I've I've gotta help you! Relax. It's going to be okay. Sorry things turned out this way, but it doesn't look like I have much longer. No! Don't say that! You know, you're a spirit medium, aren't you? When I'm gone, I want you to channel my spirit. T Stop it! T don't give up like that! If you do. A tiger up like that will be child's play. No! <laughs> Please! Hang in there! You can still make it! P promise Promise me one thing, young lady. It's about my son. Oh. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Did it hurt? was talking about you, Apollo. He said he wanted to see you one last time. So he asked for me to return to the U.S. and channel his spirit. He really said that. <laughs> he also said he'd been meaning to visit you for years, but kept putting it off, and that this was his last chance. Aww. Show up here without warning after all this time. What gifts? I came all this way to see you, son. Come, rejoice. Right. Why don't you tell me the real reason you're here? Dirk. You really did come to the U.S. because you wanted to see me. I guess this means it was Inga that hid Dirk's body in the sarcophagus after Maya left the tomb. 
can't stop now. Derek would want you to keep pressing on. I know, Miss Faye. And I won't disappoint him. Defense, if you're ready to proceed, I would first have you answer this. Do you believe the accused's death will impact what we know about this case? Yes. And I believe I can explain everything now. Very well. Your explanation, please. Dirk entered the tomb at 3 p.m., the time the hostage exchange was to take place. Or rather, Dirk, as channeled by Miss Faye, did. Now, by the time he entered the tomb at 3 p.m., Miss Stringa was already dead. I say that because we know the minister was murdered at 2 p.m. But, there was someone else in there. This person was already hiding in the tomb, waiting to channel Dirk in place of Miss Fay. Ah. Uh, Take that! It was you, wasn't it? The fact of the matter is, Queen Amara killed Mr. Inga at 2 p.m. She then went to his private quarters and channeled a spirit. The minister, thinking he was going to be late, hurried to the tomb for the hostage exchange. But once to the tomb, Queen Amara stopped channeling Mr. Inga and hid herself. Then when Dirk entered at 3 p.m., she snuck up from behind and forcibly drove Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body. Oh. Drove a spirit out of her body? Objection. Impossible. No, it isn't, bitch! Objection! You shut up, lady! You let Apollo finish his story! Actually, there is a way to do that. Yep. With a Magatama parting, that is. Using one, anyone could drive a spirit out of a person's body. You did it refuse to leave. Uh, are you telling me that the extra pale brown Magatama in the tomb was? Oh. I see. That's right, we found over in the corner there. Not part of the statue. But it was. It's, it's right, Prosecutor Samadhi. You've seen one in action before. Yeah. You saw the glowing red Magatama sent the High Priest back to the Twilight Realm. Ah, interesting. Wow, what a fucking twist this is turned out to be. Now it turned to bent br pale brown afterwards. In other words, the brown Magatama found in the tomb looks that way because its power had been used up in pushing Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body, right? Probably passed out soon Dirk's spirit left my body. I was exhausted after channeling it for so long, after all. Hmm. I see, okay. After that, Queen Omera must have dressed Miss Faye in her, her usual outfit and tied her up. I guess, does she have that outfit on hand? She just, like, no, I mean, I guess she must have known this was going down, right? So she sort of planned for it. Why did Maya feel like she needed to go back, though? Like, I mean, and why did Inga even call them about, uh, oh, someone important to you? It must have been referring... It was referring to Amara, right? So he went back to check on... Yeah. Check on Amara. I guess. And Maya... But, yeah. He, he never really had Maya anymore, right? That's the thing. But didn't he claim to Mr. Ryan that cell phone that he did have Maya? Did he even realize what was going on, Inga? After that, Queen Amara must have dressed Miss Faye in her usual outfit and tied her up. Not sure where she got the outfit, but... But I assume that she had it all planned out. Okay, good. I'm glad we brought that up. Then, Queen Amara must have changed into Dirk's clothes, smeared blood onto them, picked up the knife, and channeled Dirk's spirit. Hey, what's up? And that's how she made it look like Dirk had committed the crime. That's how she escaped! Right under our noses! Gah. I don't know, Apollo. The whole thing still seems a bit... far-fetched. Dirk. 
What was going through your mind while all this was unfolding? I thought you said we were going to go watch from the gallery. What are you still doing up here with me? Uh... Huh, so ultimately, ultimately it was all for naught. No, it was all for naught. No, Yuda? Those dreams of revolution Dirk was always spouting. They place nothing but false hope in the minds of the people. And in the end, they were simply fantasies. No, Yuda. How can you... Karma has spoken. The dream of revolution has withered on the vine. Its fate is sealed. The other insurgents will soon wake from their shattered dreams. No. Dirk Stream can't die like this. I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. I can't. And I won't. Nayuda, don't forget that Dirk's been proven innocent. His name is no longer tainted by the charge of murder. Now the rebels and their sympathizers who've been calling for his release. Can't be charged with abetting the accused. So the revolution is far from over. It's only just begun. Objection. No, Dirk has not yet been proven innocent. You have merely indicated the possibility of his innocence. What, what do you mean? Dirk is indeed dead. However, what if it was Dirk who killed Mr. Inga while being channeled by Miss Faye? And while the crime could have have occurred at 2 p.m., you have yet to substantially prove it. Or do you have conclusive proof that the time of Minister Inga's death was at 2 p.m.? Well, no, I don't, but... It seems further testimony will be required of me. As it would appear that I have fallen under suspicion, I would like to state my case. Oscar Samadhi, the rebellion must be snuffed out once and for all. You must prove Dirk Masamari to be the foul murderer that he was. Every last insurgent of the sympathizers must be found guilty under the Defense Culpability Act. As you wish, Your Eminence. Why is Nayuda doing this? Garan shouldn't have him under her thumb anymore. Where's not a hostage? So what gives? Nayuda, what's left to chain you to her like this? Very well then, Queen Amara, please proceed with your additional testimony. Okay, I'm... Pfft, I want to see where this shit goes! It's gonna be split in two episodes anyway, who gives a shit? I'm gonna keep going! You have no proof. Well done, lawyer. You appointed me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. Furthermore, Dirk could have committed the crime with while being chilled by Miss Faye. Now, let us end this charade. For the eternal glory of Karai and its people. Come, woodland critters! Yay! Do you understand now, you putrid pepper? There is no point in defending Dirk any longer. It has all been in vain. Let it go and move on, right? Well, not today! Not today, you Nyuna! Your theories are but a pillar of salt that crumbled and set the slightest breeze. But no more. This ends here and now. The defense may proceed with this cross examination. Okay, I'm like still trying to figure out like what, who's the good guy, who's the bad. I, I don't know. I'm so confused. I was about to kill that guy then to to get revenge for Dirk. Okay, so Amara wasn't with us in the states. It was Maya, and she really only came in for this case. Okay. Um, furthermore, Dirk could have committed the crime while being jailed by Miss Faye. You're saying that Dirk who entered the tomb is the one who killed Mr. Inga. I am. I stand firm with the prosecution's original charge against the accused. The only issue is whether that Dirk was alive or dead. It's a pretty major issue. Oh, I beg to differ. For here in Karain, death is not the end. Oh, it's like Final Fantasy X. It's merely a change in one's address, for the Twilight Realm is only the next door over. Is it really? It is. Those who have only recently passed away may call upon you in the night. Such occurrences are quite common in our kingdom. She's kidding, right? All the time I spent here, I'm happy to say that's never happened to me. Me neither. You 
haven't enough fair tech. Mm. Embrace it, along with your guilt. Then may you begin your journey to the Twilight Room. Okay, however, you know, no evidence proving your distasteful theory. I admit I don't have any solid evidence. Yet. But you're the only one who could have committed the crime. What on earth do you mean? Including Miss Faye, there are only three spirit mediums at Karayin. Furthermore, when the crime was seen was first discovered, Queen Garan was with me, Mr. Wright, while Miss Faye was tied up in the tomb. That means that the Dirk we saw after the minister's murder. Could only have been channeled by you, Queen Amara. Instant lawyer. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Forgive us your mercifulness. Really, your majesty? Come on, stop pushing out on me. Objection. Ah, uh, but have you considered the following defense? What if there was, unbeknownst to us, another spear medium crying? Oh, for God's sakes! Oh, come on! So what are the chances? You lack the evidence to support your claim that Queen Amara is the killer, which is why you have had to use the process of elimination to zero in on her. It therefore stands to reason that you would have to rule out all other possibilities as well. Well, can you eliminate the possibility of another spear medium defense? Of course I can't! Under the circumstances, Apollo, there are two ways to establish Mare's guilt. We either prove she killed Inga, or prove she was in the tomb. Hmm, which one can I actually prove? I believe the key is gonna be this, this necklace. This actually belongs to her, not Dirk. I'm betting. A oh, fingerprint was found on the inside of the lid, yeah, too. That That's gonna be probably her fingerprint, right? I think in the tomb. I could prove the Queen of Mare was in the tomb when the murder occurred. It seems you have a bent on painting me as the killer. Well, the shoe fits. Very well. You just see some evidence that proves I was at the scene of the crime. You do have some, do you not? There is nothing to prove I was even at the scene of the crime. Alright. I think it's this. Objection! Gotcha, bitch! Here we go. Queen of Mara. Does this pendant look familiar to you? Why? Th that is... We found it in the tomb. It has the minister's blood on it. Which means it was probably dropped in the course Objection. of the crime. Objection! And... I fail to see how it is relevant to your argument. Did that not belong to the accused? That's what I thought too. After all, Dirk had said it, it, di it did himself. He... said that? Yes. But it was a lie, because I believe he was covering for someone. Covering? How? For who? There's a certain piece of evidence that shows the pendant isn't Dirk. Dirk's. Oh, oh. You can see his in this pi his picture here. He's got a blue one. Take that! That's a photo of the accused body, is it not? Yes, it is. I'd like to call your attention to a certain spot in it. I didn't even notice it when we showed it earlier. This right here proves the pendant that was found in the tomb wasn't Dirk's. Take that! Boom! I noticed an object near Dirk's left arm. An identical pendant, except it's blue. Oh, now that you mention it. Don't you find that a little strange? Why would he own two of them, but in, t in different colors? Here's what I think. The pendants were meant to go together as a pair. A pair? If the blue pendant was Dirk's, then what about this pink one with Mr. Inga's blood on it? Who do you suppose it belongs to? Objection! Objection! Sorry to disappoint, but no fingerprints were found on the pink pendant. But check the inside, wrong! 
Therefore, we have no way of knowing to whom it belongs. Blah! Ah, but that's where you're wrong, Prosecutor Samadhi. I'm guessing you didn't know that this pendant is actually a locket. Come again. Now this is where it gets interesting. When we open this locket up, we found a faint fingerprint inside. On the back lid, to be exact. What? No. So now the question is, to whom does the fingerprint belong? Ugh. Queen Amara. Belongs to you, doesn't it? Oh. Ah. Seems I've truly rendered the witness speechless this time around. Th this cannot be. Mother, tell me it does not belong to you. N Nayuta, I... Think about it, Queen Amara. Dirk must have realized that you were channeling his spirit. And he probably already figured out who the minister's killer was. And yet, he still claimed that the pink pen had belonged to him. But why would he do such a thing? You really don't know. He was protecting you. Because he loved you. He loved you until his very last breath and beyond. I have one more, big secret. I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Dirk knew everything, even that he was being used. But he kept quiet, all for your sake. Dirk, why do you always... Well, Queen Amara, Dirk. The one whose love for you never wavered all these years. Are you going to betray him now? D Dirk, I... This, this cannot be. I refuse to accept it. Queen Amara, are you ready to confess to your crime? I can deny it no longer. The truth is, it was I, Amara Sigata Karayin, who slew Minister Inga. <laughs> That's preposterous! Not again! Why? This is beyond belief. Mother, why would you? Forgive me, Nayuta. I never wished to cause you such sorrow. But I had no choice. It was the only way. The only way? So, in the end, Winamara and Dirk Samadhi. Suppose this means that they were unable to reconcile while he was still alive. I don't think the state of the kingdom or the incidents of the past would have allowed that. They were prisoners of their shared history, so to speak. What? They weren't able to reconcile, so they- they- I am so confused. Why? Why? Didn't they have another child, and like... They- like, Dirk came to save her? Why did she- she still didn't believe that he didn't try to kill her? Like, I, I don't understand. How did they not reconcile? Queen Amara, there's something I need to know. You had staged a near-perfect crime. So why did you bring this pendant into the tomb with you? You should have known it could come back to haunt you. I do not really understand it myself. I had nearly been assassinated by my own husband. Yet I could not bear any hatred towards him. I was unable to discard this, or part with it for even a short time. As with Dirk, I have never stopped loving my husband. For the past 23 years, 
Yeah, but you were fucking ready to throw him under the bus there for the past fucking two hours. Like, seriously, I'm so confused. Why? I don't understand. So you really were trying to fuck over Dirk, though. So you really believe that he killed you or something? Why did you kill Majestic Mr. Inga? What's going on? Mother. So she really believes it. That Dirk tried to assassinate her. Huh. Your Majesty, is it not time? Time to declare Dirk, Dirk innocent. I would ask that you do this for my beloved, who now dwell, dwells in the Twilight Realm. Uh, the, okay, what? What? I'm so confused, all right? I, I'm confused because they had so much time, right? At some point, Dirk went and rescued Amara, right? And then she, I guess, got picked back up again, or she returned or something, and she still didn't believe Dirk. And all this time, she never believed Dirk. And so this, so this time, she's been just framing the shit out of him? I mean, is she not, like, self-aware or something? Like, did she not, like, occur to her when she was talking to us as Dirk, right? And he, she was like, I don't know where this pennant is, came from or something. He was clearly defending you and trying to help you or something. I mean, she could have easily just ratted you out then. But no, he did it. And it, and it didn't occur to you? I, like, I, I don't know if I'm just being stupid, if I'm missing something, but it just seems ridiculous. Unless she really isn't aware of those moments, but I was pretty sure they, like, still have, like, some semi-level of consciousness, right? When they're... Uh, uh, calling on a person, I think. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe not, though. Even so, though, let's say she didn't. Let's say she was totally out and she did, wasn't aware of any of that stuff that happened. She still could have pieced it to fucking together when she came back and realized, oh, hey, this lie that I've had, been, had going this whole time is still good, right? Clearly, my husband didn't say anything. I guess he must be trying to protect me. Very well, then. Your eminence, Prosecutor Samadhi. If you have no further objections. But yes, clearly he was still trying to kill me. Ah, this cannot be. My mother. Oh well, bye sis. I have no objections, bye! Dirk, I did it. I finally did it. I proved your innocence. But... Very well then. Being that Queen of Mary yet lives. We can no longer charge the accused with an assassination that never came to fruition. As for the murder of Mr. Inga, the truth has been laid bare for all to see. Therefore, I will now pass judgment upon the accused, Mr. Dirk Samadhi. What now? What? Hold it! Your benevolence? What? Is something the matter, your benevolence? Queen Amara is lying! It makes no sense! Queen Amara would not have killed my father! What's wrong with her all of a sudden? Is this some sort of lingering affection towards Nana? Rafa. Speak the truth, Queen Amara! D did you really kill my father? Yes. There is no mistake. She has confessed to the crime, thereby clearing the accused of all suspicion. As such, I ha see no need to continue these proceedings. But Bob Ted! Hornhead! Are you going to let this stand? I... Dirk's been proven innocent. He's about to be declared not guilty. And so... So does it feel right? Apollo, oh my god, no, we are saying okay, she isn't actually evil. It really was somehow the other lady. What? I don't understand. If you have any doubts, now's the time to raise them. After all, the courtroom is a place for finding the whole truth. But it's all up to you. Definitely some things that don't quite add up. Does this mean that the whole truth hasn't been brought to light yet? Should I just push to continue the trial? No, I give up. Let it, let's let it end here. I'm dead. I give up. No, fuck it. Your magistrate. I have a feeling we haven't discovered the whole truth, the truth. 
The only way we'll ever find it is to continue this trial. Hornhead! Very well then. Let's please tell us this. What important fact about this case is yet to come to light? Uh... Amara's married life! The motive, the murder method, the motive. Um, Queen Amara, there's something I still don't understand. What was your motive for killing Justice Minister Inga? That is a fair question, and one that I shall now answer. It was for the future of this kingdom that I slew Inga Karku Karain. To avert further tragedy, his death was an unfortunate necessity. Further tragedy? Over the past several years, Mr. Inga has been rapidly expanding his power. He had established the secret police, who was relentless in his pursuit of the insurgents. He had even, he even had the overwhelming support of the people, but still he was not satisfied. Hungry for more power, he began planning, began planning a coup d'etat. You mean his plot involving the Founder's Orb, which led to my phase abduction? Yes, Mr. Inga planned to use the orb to gain access to great spiritual power, after which he would assassinate Goran and usurp the throne. His machinations were reminiscent of that terrible tragedy of 23 years ago. And as one affected by that incident, I may vow to never let Lau a repeat of such events. Yes, and the Holy Mother delivered unto me the perfect opportunity to fulfill my vow. Security amid the courtyard was rather light due to the right of channeling, and Inga had barricaded himself in the tomb with his hostage, away from prying eyes. I knew I would never again have such a perfect opportunity, so... At 2 p.m. during the rite of channeling, I slipped into the tomb and slew the minister. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, no. My bracelet. My god, oh bracelet. I feel it. Oh, I haven't done this animation all fucking game. I know. What the hell? Oh, uh, you haven't rubbed me down in a long time, Apollo. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good shit right there, son. Uh, yeah. All right. You can't escape my big bulgy eyes, Amara. Apollo. Yup. There's still evidence in my court record that I haven't used yet. Like, what the hell's up with my dad? How's this related to everything? Seems this trial's far from over. Ugh! Queen Amara, I believe you're still hiding something. But if you want to keep on playing this game of hide and seek, then let's start with that last statement you made. If I must. It's time, guys. Here we go. Ugh! Call on me, Apollo. Here I go! Alright. Where is it? It's gonna have to do with this, right? Probably. I slew the minister. I slew. Because she did sli she slipped in the tomb because we found her thing. And slew the minister. Okay, this thing's not moving. Okay, it was not in the thing down there like I thought it would be. God, I can't see. I can't find it. I, I, God damn it. I wish I could, like, skip through this shit. Because it's like, unfortunately, you have to sit through and wait. It's like, God damn it. I can't find anything. Where's your little wiggle? And of course, that last one has to... It has to be the very last one, right? I'm sure it is, at least. And it's, it's so short compared to all the other ones. I can't find anything. Oh, her finger. During the rite of channeling. There it is. Okay, it was not to, it was at the spot I thought it was. Gotcha! Gotcha! Queen Amara. You're not very comfortable talking about the two o'clock ride channeling, are you? I could tell because of a finger on your left hand almost twist almost imperceptibly when you did. Oh? And that pose you make. Is there something about your chest that makes you nervous? Whatever do you mean? The murder occurred at 2 p.m. And I'm pretty positive Amara was in the tomb at that time. So why is she so self-conscious about her chest when she talks about the right? The right of channeling. Didn't all be snap a picture of it? Queen Amara. If you're a picture of the right of channeling, secretly taken by a certain individual. Objection! Objection! 
Shut up! Such insolence. I would have the perpetrator's name at once! Ah, uh, sorry. No can do. You see, I, uh... I just happened to find on the find on the ground, so... Do you take me for a fool? Um, yes. Well, okay then. I've always discussed the photo's origin a little later, because right now... Ugh, there's something much more pressing at the hand. I believe this photo merits further examination. I just wish there was more to see in it than darkness and more darkness. I might be able to make out a few more details with some image adjustments. Let's ask Emma if she can help. Let's get some Photoshop out on this bitch. Bailiff! Yes, Aji. Oh, good. I actually showed up for once. Please summon Detective Sky to the Hall of Justice. I'm already here. I was just here like five seconds ago. Hello! Yeah! Here you are! I was able to obtain a much clearer image by raising the brightness. Holy mother of scars! Huh? What's that right there? Oh my god! So that was actually a mirror the whole time. And the other lady was actually the one out there killing people! It turns out she actually is the good queen! And the other one's evil! Uh, so just like we all thought after all. <laughs> I thought this game was about to throw us like a super duper mind fucking like, like truly just subverting our expectations and making her the, the actual good queen. Although, no, I, she's still pretty fucking evil. I think we already knew that by this point. I guess, I think the twist would have been they were both Amara and her were evil. An injury? No, wait. I think it's a burn scar. Oh, yes, here it is. From the fire. It wasn't her at all. Wait a second. Oh my god, your eminence! You don't have a burn scar like that on your chest! Hey! Don't you dare look at my world cleavage! Let's zoom in closer, here we go! What's going on here? The person in this photo isn't Queen Garan, then who is it? It's gotta be Dirk! <laughs> Damn it, son, what the hell are you doing? That's right, it was Dirk, I was wrong! Dirk killed, killed everybody. I'm just kidding. This is crazy, bitch. Oh, oh, what? oh! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, huh? Oh, sorry. Slip of the hand. Oh, oh! <laughs> I like it. I like how <laughs> they even sort of remarked on like you're saying it. It's not Queen Garon. It's Queen Garon. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got slip of the and then he goes, whoops, slip of my hand, boom, blow up your HP bar. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Take that. I forgot what I was trying to do. I thought I pointed out how the bad guy was for some reason. Queen of Mara, the person that photo is a Queen Garan. It's you posing as her, isn't it? Oh. Um. The two of you look quite similar. That's no surprise, considering you're sisters. You just need the hair. Oh. The hairspray in the room was for her, not for uh, her husband. Even the shape and face position of your facial tattoos are almost exactly the same. You're both capable of channeling spirits. Therefore, it would have been easy for you to impersonate Queen Garan. Uh. Queen Amara. You have a burn scar on your chest, don't you? Please remove your round ma mandala so we can see what's behind it for ourselves. Please remove your shirt. Behold! Ah! 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 Oh my god. She's summoning Satan! Move! Eee! Look! Boobs! And Scar too. It's the exact same bird scar as the one in the photo. I don't understand. I knew it. I understand. It's the person this photo really is. Yes, it's Queen Amara. This is absurd. Are you suggesting that they switch places? Like the parent trap! Amara's confession alert was also false. Mm. For God's sake, make up your mind, Apollo! Mother, what's the meaning of this? Don't you see? This changes everything! We know for a fact that this photo was taken at 2 p.m. Exact time the murder took place. But, but, but that would mean Queen Amara couldn't possibly have committed this crime! Exactly. She now has an ironclad alibi. 
So Mr. Ingus Killer couldn't have been Queen Amara. I don't know why she's trying to protect her crazy, evil-ass sister. I'm afraid I no longer follow defense. It's so not Queen Amara who channeled the minister and accused the accused to stage of the crime. Yes, that fact has not changed. We have evidence placing her at the scene of the crime. And Dirk could have only been there in the tomb if she were channeling him. Which means... Uh, well, Queen Amara did use spirit channeling to stage the crime. She didn't kill Mr. Inga. His real killer is somewhere else. Someone else. Bogunga! I wonder who it could possibly be. What's going on here, dude? Has our best list cover for someone? If Queen Amara is not the killer, then who is it? Isn't it obvious? Come on, look how fucking evil this chick is. This is it. Why was this right held in the first place? The Queen Grum wasn't going to perform it. She was busy murdering people. Murdering and pillaging. Who was behind the two sisters switching places and for what reason? The answers to these questions, along with the establishment of Queen Amara's alibi. Obliterate a certain someone else's alibi. And that is... Queen of Mary! <laughs> oh wait, slip of the hand again! Ah, uh, slip of my hand! I'm just gonna blow all your HP bar! Boo! Ah, damn, I, la I failed! <laughs> no, you! Why, that's... Is this some kind of joke? No, your magistrate. I could never joke about something so great. The only one who seemed to have a perfect alibi at the time of the murder was her eminence. Karaz Sigatar Karain! Queen Amara, did your sister Queen Garan ask you to pose as her? And perform the rite of channeling. Hi. And did she also have you drive Dark Spear from his face body? And this takes the crime and make it look like he was the minister's killer. But why? Why would you do all this? And at 2 p.m., while you perform the rite of channeling as Queen Garan, did she kill Mr. Ingo while disguised as Dirk? Hiding her titties underneath there somewhere. Well, your mercifulness. Huh? Blah. It's no use trying to hide it from me, my big bony eyes. You need to tell us the truth now. M Mother. Justice Master Angus, true killer is. What the fuck, Dad? No! No! Ugh. What? Mother? No! <laughs> I, I really did it! Crazy! Crazy! Your, your eminence, my life is yours! Isn't he? The Quran's royal guards? Ah, oh, yes, good, royal no, no, subject, good! Yes! Damn it! You took too goddamn long to say it! You stupid lady! Fuck, now you're dead! You're fucking dead now! Qu -qu -qu Queen Amara! No, you died again! Bailiff, arrest the guardsmen! Mother! Ron couldn't have. Could she? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Look how evil and demon twisted I am! Someone call for an ambulance! Quickly now! Oh my god, Jimmy, you did it! What's gonna happen, guys? Oh my god! Oh! Guy! Queen Amara is shooting the fuck out of everybody! <laughs> Just killing so many damn people! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? My mind! My brain! Okay, okay, good. I'm, I'm glad that we're saying it wasn't her because, not, like, so many things would have been not made any sense otherwise. I was just like, what the fuck? Why? Why, Amara? Why do you suspect Dirk so badly? I don't understand. But no, she's been doing all this shit for her stupid sister. For some reason. She must have something on her, right? It's probably the reason why Niyuta is still helping her, too. I I don't know. I don't know what it is, though. Maybe the fact that Ra he ha she has Rafa, and, I, I, and I'm, like I said before, Rafa could, I think, very well be the daughter of Dirk and uh, Amara. Maybe that is it, you know? So she's like, oh, I, she'll do something to her if that if I don't uh, cooperate with her. Mm, that could be it.
Oh my god, that was a big freaking twist. That really got me. That one involving Dirk. That holy shit. That was a good one though. That was they did a really awesome job with that twist. God damn. Wow. I haven't that I haven't been like truly that blindsided like that in a long time. Like even they're like big twists of Don Ropa V three were just like a probably like a like a, a an extension, right? Like the twist still got me a good bit. But it was like I, I saw the same inkling, right? It was just like it was more extreme than I even realized. But in this case, I, I didn't have an inkling at all, like what that that was gonna happen. And then, oh my god, just that that sudden realization. Like I, I think I think I could sort of equate it to Don, actually probably more Don Ropa two and its big twist regarding the class, right? Like that one, that one really got me too. Like it was, oh man, oh it feels good though. Isn't that like that feeling of like oh my god, I never saw it coming. <laughs> oh shit. Well, this is definitely gonna be at least two episodes. This was it was about like two hours and forty five minutes for Ruby. You know what? I want to fucking know what the hell was going on. I don't give a crap. I already save, I think I did. I imagine that the next one will probably be like the last part of this case. And then after that we'll move on to the DLC stuff, which there's also the there's like two like I think mini like cases that are like called Asinine Attorney. I don't know if I should like play those. Are those worth checking out? Uh, let, let me know in the comments. But oh man, it's great. I'm I'm really enjoying this. Um anyway, I hope you all enjoyed these episodes more likely. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin. For this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!